Good morning, planet Earth. I can say morning because it's 1236, which makes it technically morning. So, uh, this video, I'm basically going to tell you about the classes that I'm taking uh, this semester. Um, so, uh, I am a second semester sophomore. Uh, so, I'm majoring, as you know, probably most of you probably, probably know, I'm majoring in uh, course 17, political science. Uh, I'm strongly, strongly considering it slash intending to do a minor in course eight, which is physics. Um, so you'll see my, my schedule uh, reflects that. Um, so I'm actually taking five classes this semester. Uh, I'm doing a class called uh, the federal government in the schools, uh, which I'm cross-registered for at Harvard. Um, it's offered through their Harvard Kennedy School and through the Harvard Graduate School of Education um, because I'm, as a political science major, I have to concentrate in a certain subfield of political science. Uh, so the subfield which has always interested me the most is uh, education policy. Um, so uh, MIT doesn't really have anyone that does education policy, uh, so I go over to Harvard for that. Uh, so I'll be taking a total of three classes there, uh, all in education policy. Um, the class is great, taught by a former member of the Clinton administration. Um, we get to present a policy proposal to uh, Washington at the end of the semester. That should be great. Um, although it is a challenge getting over there in time, so it starts at 4. I have another class that ends at 4. So I have to leave that class like half an hour early. So now we're in half class. And uh, jump on the tee, and then get to Harvard, and then dash through the unshoveled sidewalks of ice to, to accomplish that. So, not the easiest thing in the world, but it's worth it. Um, my other political science class is uh, 1720, which is uh, Introduction to American Politics. So this class I am taking because there is nobody in the political science department currently, or for this year at least, that did American politics. Uh, part of the requirements of being a poli sci major is you need a class of a 17.2, which if is so all classes in 17.2 uh, are uh, American politics, um, American politics classes stuff. Uh, so the only one offered was this 1720, uh, which is actually being taught by a, a guest professor, um, and. He said the first class, he said, you know, if you have experience in American politics, uh, you know, if you maybe you took AP Gov in high school, I said, this class is probably not for you. So, I was like, ah, because I kind of got a five on the AP Gov test. So, I definitely know my American politics, and I definitely follow the news and everything, so I definitely know American politics. Um, but I kind of need it. I don't want to wait another year to take a 17.2 class because uh, there were, in the next two years I've already planned out and they're already full. So I was like, okay, I'll stick with this class. Maybe it'll be kind of a break uh, since you know I'm taking five classes anyway. So it'll be an, an easier class. I said, fine. Uh, I'm doing 803, uh, which is Physics 3, Vibrations and Waves. Uh, it basically so far has been, and what I've heard from a lot of other people too, is basically uh, 1803, which I took last year, differential equations applied to physics. And so far, everything we've done in the class uh, has been taken straight out of 1803, um, very similar material, uh, some of the problems are even similar, um, the techniques of solving the problems are similar, so, so far I'm, I'm enjoying 803, it's good. Um, I'm doing... Uh, uh, 8282 slash 12 something 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 which is uh, astronomy and this class is, is challenging because it's very different it's not your typical kind of physics it's odd physics I've never really run into it before it's different the book we're using is called foundations of astrophysics uh, so it's interesting it's an interesting class it's just different so I'm still trying to adjust uh, it's only a nine credit course. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll drop it. Maybe I'll keep it, depending on you know how the next few weeks go. Uh, and my final course I'm taking is eight two twenty five, which is physics in the twentieth century. This class is 
fascinating. Very, very interesting class. Basically, we cover development of physics throughout the 20th century, as you might be able to guess from the title. Um, it, it's just really interesting because it, it doesn't just cover, though, the developments that were made or whatever. It, it covers more, you go inside, like, the heads of the people who came up with this stuff and try to understand how they did it, how what influenced them to do it, what was the, the zeitgeist, the spirit of the times. Because, uh, you know, back then they were all operating under the assumption that there was an ether, this all-permeating substance uh, that kind of filled every nook and cranny of the universe. And when uh, until Einstein published his relativity papers, um, fascinating, it's a very fascinating class. Good professor for it. Uh, great at it. Um, a lot of fun. So those are my five classes. Uh, I'm also, I am now one of the two editors for the opinion section of the tech. So on Sundays and Wednesdays, I do editing for about an hour and a half, two hours-ish. Uh, I am vice chair of events committee, so I go to pretty much weekly meetings. Uh, do that. We have a concert coming up that we're putting on. Um, I am also one of the entry chairs of J entry, so I have to go to house comm meetings on Wednesdays and you know do entry-ish event stuff. Um, so I'm very, very, very busy, and trying to keep up with all of the work that I have and everything, um, and uh, it's tough, not easy, hard to find time to do everything, but it's going well so far. So uh, now I'm going to go to bed, tomorrow I have an appointment, doctor's appointment, to have my finger looked at, since it's been about six weeks since I had the surgery, uh, which my finger is looking significantly better, although you can still kind of tell that it's off. It feels uh, tight when I put it straight. Um, so yeah, doing that tomorrow, which means I have to miss 803, which is no good because, so for 803 we have a take-home experiment kit, uh, but they're only enough for half the class, so we had to partner with someone. So I just found some random person with a partner, found out the kid's name, and that's it. Now, my partner has the experiment kit, and I have no possible way uh, to contact her. So, I'm, that's not good. But, hopefully find a way to get around this. Um, and, yeah. So, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Now I'm going to go to bed because I'm really tired. Peace!